Normally in this story, if I was allowed into this world, I'd be holding a tray in the background somewhere. <laughs> Let one of your knights try to land a blow against me. Indulge me in this game. I will be the... What did you connect to uh, with this character? You know, this age old British classic literary hero. I, I just felt like he was this young, headstrong guy who's goes on this journey to, to, to become something, you know, earn his place at the round table. It's about ambition, about that journey to achieve some form of success and at what cost to yourself, to your personal relationships and, you know, that blinding kind of drive that it takes. And it's kind of futile in this sense. And that I could relate to as a young actor, you know, in this industry and it's like, you know, the pitfalls of ambition and that myopic view and what does it all mean at the end of the day? And the strive for greatness, and can you do that whilst maintaining goodness? That's like, was, was really interesting. And what do you hope to gain facing all of this honor? I see, you know, somewhat of a common theme between The Green Knight and the personal history of David Copperfield, where, you know, you're changing the very face of these age old British literary heroes. Do revisionist her histories, do, does that appeal to you as, as a genre, as a, a storytelling device? It's not like I proactively go out and look for them. I, I feel like I've just been lucky in that I've collided with these amazing individuals like Armando Iannucci for David Copperfield or David for this, but they kind of approach these stories from a totally fresh perspective and that's indicative of the whole film. You know, just by casting me, you can just see they're going to approach this in, in a totally different way with new brush strokes. And I feel really lucky. I find when I've been in the company of some person of strong character, they're voice becomes lodged in my head. I told Armando when I first met him, I was like, normally in this story, if I was allowed into this world, I'd be holding a tray in the background somewhere. <laughs> Give me a, re a role with real substance. And like, it's kind of reflective of the times we're in now where there's so much more possibility and we've got these brave filmmakers and studios allowing actors of color like myself to, you know, really have some screen time and a journey. I guess what I'm trying to say is they're all everyman. You know, Gawain is reflective of the everyman and his trials and tribulations, and so is David Copperfield in a way. So it's amazing that they're open to, to that kind of casting. That is why Knight does what he does.